you're listening to Getting Real with Rail Andrews and Alex Urbina right here on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. Don't forget to download your free AM 1220 KHTS app at your app store so you can take us with you 24-7. And we always love to hear from you. We're getting some great calls today. You can call in at 661-298-5487. That's 661-298-KHTS. And we're going to go right to a caller. We have Liz Cattle on the line. Liz, are you there? Yes. Liz, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Hi, Coach Alex. Hi, hi, Riel. How are you? Great. So, do you got a question or comment for us? Well, I just have a comment. Just in, I've just started up with you at uh, Balacor. Gosh, I think just in the last month and a half, if that. And it has been awesome. I have worked out my whole life, and uh, these classes kicks my rear every time. I love it. And now doing this inner circle group and coming and doing the earlier workouts, it's terrific. I really feel challenged and I love it. That's awesome. I, I got a question for you, Liz. I'm, I'm just curious because because of your schedule and, you know, we knew that coming into it. Mm-hmm. Since then, we've decided because we know the value and the importance of it. As we move forward, there won't be exceptions because we know the importance. I'm just curious because you were the only one of the team who wasn't able to be part of the intense um, training Monday night with Alex, which was more the intellectual and spiritual, you know, side of it. Did you notice a difference from the team this morning um, as they showed up? Well, this morning? Yes. Um, well, a lot of them were also there Tuesday, and they seemed energized by their time Monday night because most of them came Tuesday morning. I think everybody did Tuesday morning also. Um, and they seemed energized by the time that they had uh, Monday night, for sure. I was you know, sad I couldn't be there, just of different commitments uh, as in my role as administrator as a school, at a school. But, um, yeah, they seem to be encouraged and excited by the time you guys had on Monday night. I, I I don't know. I'm not convinced. I don't know if she could have seen anything different after you ripped into him <laughs> the first five minutes of the, of the oh, morning. Today, yeah. yeah, yeah. It was really intense. You got you got really intense, but it was cool because you raised the whole team to a whole nother le- level of awareness when it comes to trusting yourself and leadership and 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 being and and rising up to being an extraordinary team. Yeah, and let's talk. Let's talk about that a little bit because you know you are the founder, creator. You built a school from scratch, Trinity Classical Academy, which is awesome. And actually, the theme today, what we were talking about, is you know being who you say you are, being a man or a woman of your word. You know, what does that mean to you in your life? How important is it to do what you say you're going to say? Do what you say you're going to do. Oh, sure. Well. Um I think in, uh, and I go back to, I'll start with kind of what we say as a school for the, like the mission for us as a school, uh, what we try to impart to our students is that they would seek to live a life of purpose, wisdom, virtue, and courage. And so anyone on my, our faculty and staff has to want to live that way too, because if we don't want to live that way, then how can we model that for the children that we're teaching or who are privileged to have be a part of our learning community? So my hope and prayer would be that uh, I would be living in a way that would encourage and inspire, you know, our students to want to be that way, and, and especially in leadership or positions you need need to consider those things and any any everyone's in a leadership position everyone has influence over something or someone um whether it's small or or large does, does that make sense absolutely Absolutely. Well, Liz, you are a champion. You are definitely a leader and a difference maker. I can tell you I've run into people um, that say, oh, you're training Liz and stuff like that, and they have nothing but amazing, amazing things to say about you. So you are leading by example. We're honored to have you in the inner circle. Thanks for taking time to call in. All right? Thank you. Okay, we'll see you guys. I won't see you tomorrow, but I'll see you hopefully on Friday. Yes, ma'am. 
All right, next we've got uh, Wendy Aguilar on the phone. We've got Wendy Aguilar, yes, I think. Wendy, are you there? Hello, Wendy. She's probably working out, pumping her arms. <laughs> All right, are you there, Wendy? Yes, I am. Okay, hey, how are you? Thanks for calling in. Great, I'm doing wonderful, thank you. You got a question or comment for uh, me or Alex? Well, yes, I have a, a comment, and uh, I think the, one of the strongest things that I've noticed so far is that we're all becoming leaders, and we're holding each other accountable. And that's, gonna, that's uh, been a wonderful experience for me to see, for example, how I brought in my one of my good friends, Diana, and then she brought her husband, and then I brought my cousin, Mondi, in, and I'm seeing a breakthrough in front of my eyes and I'm seeing them change and they're so happy and they're so excited about this whole process and now that we're all in the inner circle we're all learning from one another and we're encouraging each other and so like for example Londi and I will be like come on we can do this or let's do this and it, it, it creates accountability so this morning we let our team down so what I want to know is when you do something like that and you have this skills, how do you get past that? Well, I think the first part is that there's nothing to be guilty about. It, life is always a learning process. And if you're a lifelong learner, you learn how to take, um, you create a new relationship with failure. And you, and you look at failure as um, a stepping stone to success. It's, it's all a learning lesson. And so I think it's really about you um, getting past uh, whatever, whatever the issue was that you didn't achieve and get right mm -hmm. down to uh, realizing or doing some self-reflection to figure out what's the lesson to be learned. What, you know, if I could walk away with a takeaway, what was it? And so I guess I want to throw back a question at you. What was the biggest lesson you learned this morning when, uh, when your team didn't you know, step up and, and access its full potential? Well, it, it was definitely we need to, or I need to step up my game and, and get things done and, and, and really be that leader that we're trying to create here as a group uh, for each and every one of us. And um, it, like I said, it, yes, it is a learning experience because after that I walked away with thinking, okay, this is what I have to do to fix what I did wrong today or what I didn't finish today, but how do I... I, I feel like I, I, I'm sorry that I let them down, so how do I tell them? How can I make it up to them? Uh, I think first you got to make it up to yourself. Realize that okay. that was your learning lesson, and uh, be great. Choose to be grateful for it. And I think out of you choosing to be grateful for it, you'll surrender uh, what already happened. You got to remember, we we got to start living in, in the present moment. And what happened happened. And I, I I moved past it, and I know Coach moved past it. And 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 if we can move past it, you can move past it too. You just got to decide that that it's gone and uh, it's gone forever, and it's not going to happen again. And just make a new commitment to learn from it and step up and and uh and maybe maybe the next time you see that opportunity step up and and give it back tenfold i think yeah. that's how you can it. make it up to yourself yeah and you know that's just the enemy trying to you know keep you back in that world we know the past is gone absolutely you know what me and alex we've moved on i'm right here right now and this is where i am because this is where i'm supposed to be you know um you know i'm an action guy how do i make it up to my team actions just go to work just and, change yeah and, you know this morning doesn't even exist yeah, anymore we're, we're actually in this new present moment so if you learn how to be living in the present moment you can actually surrender things that you feel like you need to hold on to and having regrets and shame and guilt and all that doesn't support you so just choose to surrender it let it go you, you know what's the, what's the one thing I say uh, I'll give this um, and then we're gonna go to our next caller Wendy what do I say all the time you need to finish with what with greatness no well, I say you need to finish with what? What's the word I use? Starts with an E. Starts with an E. Excellence. And why do we finish yes. with excellence? Because that's the last moment. Because it has our signature on it. So if you always finish in that moment right now mm -hmm. with excellence, because that's how you're going to be remembered, what happened this morning, last week, doesn't matter. Just always take the opportunity with the opportunity you're in to do it with excellence, and it'll all be great. Okay? 
Got it. Thank All you. Right. Thanks, Wendy. All right, we're going to go to our next caller. Alex, we have Alki on the phone. Alki, are you there? I am, yes. Hey, Alki, thanks for calling Hi. in. I love Alki. I love Alki. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what? I um I I love you guys too. I've actually just met the two of you on Saturday for the first time, and you're talking about giving excellence and um, you know being the best you can be. And for myself, this is just a huge, huge life changer already with um, with stuff that I've had going on in the last few months. And now I'm coming in, and I'm not only getting the physical accountability of it all, but now that even just the mental of it all, even while the physical uh, activity is as early as it is, I'm I'm catching it, I'm retaining it. It's it's just really really great and, and uplifting to be a part of something and you're you know with talking with team and uh, with asking for forgiveness. I mean with uh, with Wendy just now, I just to me I came in as a very very new person on 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 Saturday morning um, and having just knowing Kirk in that group but I've I've also felt like with even within that short time of just the the you know you can do it this is a teamwork working as a team as as challenging as it can be sometimes um, but but at the same time I'm I'm getting like a great result even just after the the couple days and I just I I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm kind of scared about what's going to happen next Monday after how I felt leaving Monday night. Um, I, I literally was drained for for the next day um, as as to what what I was opened up and what I had to realize for myself. But coming back from being a, a closed off person and with the last uh, last especially coming out of a bad relationship the last time this this combination of the physical training that's 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 pretty hard <laughs> um and and with the mental at the same time i just uh, is is the the time frame on that arranged to to keep you um in a frame of mind where you're starting so early in the day and then having that evening class so late is that something that's arranged specifically just to, to keep you, to get you more open in that standpoint? Um, you know, actually, that's actually a really, really great question and it's maybe something we'll think about as we go on. Um, you know, this really, the timing was really scheduling that we could get in, but the morning specifically, the morning class was specifically chosen for 3.30 because to take all excuses out of the way. Because really there's nothing at 3.30 in the morning that we'd have to be doing. So that's why we chose to have that boot camp at that time to take those excuses out of the way. Um, the other one just, you know, that fell into that. But me and Alex were actually talking about that this morning. What's great about this, this is nine days intensive. It's really a total of 18 hours. And down the road, this is going to be an intensive all weekend boot camp. Can you imagine? People are going to go through all of this in one weekend. So, you know, we're really, really excited about that. Alki, you know what? If there was one thing that you see that you've taken away from this right now, real quick, on your heart, what would it be? Um, it's, it's for me, it's holding myself accountable for, for everything. It's, it's the, the pushing that I, the excuses that I realize that I've been making and I am, I'm still coming off of an injury and I, and I hurt when I leave, but it's, it's something that on my, on my own, I would have given up on, but to have, um, just, uh, to have you and Alex there just saying, you know, you're doing great, keep going. And even the other nine members of that early morning class, it's, it's for myself, I'm taking, taking home that I, I, I do make excuses for myself. If something gets too hard or if I'm hurting or I'm tired, I just don't want to do it. And, and I don't, and that's how I've lapsed into what I've lapsed in now. So I, I'm learning self-accountability, and I, I'm more accountable in the morning. And that's, that's what I need to do. I just want to say this. So what you just said right now is so powerful and so courageous. <laughs> What you just what you just articulated right now is probably eighty percent of the world. Uh, most of us, including myself, um, 
we don't hold ourselves accountable. I know for me, you know, for many years in my wheel of balance, I've always focused rigorously on being a champion, you know, when it comes to, you know, personal development, interpersonal development, when it came to physical, I just put it on the back burner, but I, I wasn't, I wasn't able to be accountable to myself. And it wasn't until I met you and we kind of sold out to each other to have each other win. All of a sudden I'll play big for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I gave, or, or because my word, I gave it to you, but I needed to be accountable. So accountability buddies or a coach to have you be accountable is huge and i think that's what the, the missing key for most people are is at least start off with it for the first three to six months until you create a habit to until you're able to be strong enough to hold yourself accountable and then maybe you can choose to to retire your coach and say thank you you know i'm moving on or whatever but it, but it, you know it, you got to do what works and if it's getting yourself in front of somebody that you know can can push you along then i think that's that's you know pretty impressive but i want to just say let you know that um you've inspired me Elkie, and I just want to let you know that before you hung up. Absolutely. Thank, um, thank, thank you. you very much, <laughs> Elkie, for calling in. Listen, if you're, just, if you're just getting on with us right now, you're listening to Getting Real with Rail Andrews and Alex Rubina on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. This show is brought to you by the Rebecca's. You know, talk about accountability, a partner, a team. If you're looking to get a house, those who you want to go to, you can find them at the Rebecca's.com. If you need to call them at 661-290-3880, you'll be hearing more about that. Them. We're going to our next caller. We got Diana on the phone. Diana, are you there? I am here. Hey, do you got a question for me or Alex? Um, no, no, I don't have a question. I just have a comment. Um, first of all, this is definitely out of my comfort zone. Uh, Congratulations. I'm and I'm shaking. Congratulations, because <laughs> that's where growth happens, I, right? Yes, but I, I'm, I'm doing it for my team and myself. And uh, I got to say, when... I first heard about this inner circle. I jumped on it without thinking about it. I knew it was going to be a good thing. Um, I got to say, I think I'm the only one that has, you know, somebody that close to me with me in the inner circle, and that's big to me. Um, I can't wait to see what it does for all of us, but I definitely I am excited to see what it's going to do for me and my husband. That's awesome. That's awesome. If there was one thing, Diana, right now so far that you've seen, um, what would what would that be? The difference that you've seen so far, whether physical, emotional, intellectual. I know there's a lot, but one thing jumping out at you right now. I think I've realized that I am capable of so much more than I thought I was. Um, you know, there's been a lot of times that I wanted to like give up and walk out, but I haven't. And I'm not going to do it. I, I know that I can, you know, do this. And I know that we have a great support with everybody that's involved. So I'm not, I'm not quitting. I know I'm not walking away from this. That's awesome, Diana. We're proud of you. All right, listen, we got to... Uh, we got one more caller we got to get to real quick. We actually got several callers. We're going to have to enforce it. We can't take them all. Um, thanks for calling in, Diana. I'll see you on the bat, on the uh, rebound. Our last caller for today that we're going to be able to take is Londi. Is it Londi? Londi, are you on the line? Hi. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> hey, Londi, how are you? You got a question for me or Coach Alex or a comment? I don't have, I have a comment. I'll, I'll actually, I just want to say thank you for, to both of you guys for taking you guys' time and teaching us everything. Uh, you guys are great coaches, and uh, we have a great team, and actually I've never been part of a team like this, and it feels great. It feels really great to have the support of different people, and I just want to say thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. You know, I think of when she says, I've never been a part of a team like this. If you've ever been a part of um, any kind of sports team and ever made it to a championship and you know what it's like to dig down deep and find that inner champion and, and go through the blood, the sweat and the tears to win, when you finally are victorious... Um, it can get emotional. You can start crying because you look around and you look at your teammates and you're like, man, I went, I went to battle with these guys. I, you know, I persevered and we saw each other's weaknesses and we, and we, you know, we just went in and, and, and dug down deep. And for people that don't have that experience, have never been a part of a team or some kind of a sports uh, extraordinary breakthrough like that, this is similar to that. This, mm -hmm. the, this experience that we're creating is similar to that. And if you never had that, um, you want to be a part of that. It's something 
something happens inside you, something magical happens when you're when you're part of something bigger than yourself. It, it lights you up. It gets you fired up. You, you get excited. And you want it, You want more. You know, absolutely, Alex and Londia. I just want to say really quick. I one thing I really love about you and I appreciate is your auth authenticity. You're being vulnerable. That's really helping the team to go to another level. So thanks for calling in, Londi. I wanted to touch real quick, and we're going to talk about team. We're going to hear from the real heroes and say, as you were talking there, Alex, what I heard you saying and what just hit me for the first time ever, we, we talked about how, you know, um, the other day I said, you know, I get this, how why the Navy SEAL and the Army, military, law enforcement, they, they put these, their, their, um, their people through these rigorous trainings because they want to be ready for adversities and all this toughness. But after that Monday night, I realized it's even deeper than that. It's to create that emotional bond so you will go to war with each other. And as you were talking, it made me think about, you know, when we as fans are watching the soccer game and you see this guy rip off his shirt or this football player get emotional and you're crying and you might be sitting on the couch going, what's wrong with that guy? That big man, he's crying, but he's crying because he's been in the trenches with his team battling sweating and they know each other and they just had a huge victory so i could see how they would be emotional and they're not just crying because they lost they're crying because they they wanted they wanted their teammates to win mm -hmm. It's like, it's not, it's not, a, you know, when you're a part of a team, it's not about I loss, it's about we loss. And I, I, I want you to win just as bad as I want myself to win. It's like we, we want each other to win, and I think that, that there's something powerful in that. That's awesome. So, uh, we're going to take a break, guys, right now. We're going to, you are listening to Getting Real with At Rail Andrews and Alex Rubino on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. We'll be coming right back with the real heroes. Thanks for listening. Well, welcome back. You're listening to Getting Real with Rail. Dale Andrews and Alex Rubina right here on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. Don't forget to download your free AM 1220 KHTS app. Take us with you anytime. You can always call in at 661-298-5487. That's 661-298-KHTS. This show is brought to you by the Rebeccas. If you're looking to buy a house, to sell a house, even if you just got a question, you can just give them a call. Give them a call anytime at 661-290-3880 or go to the website sorry, at therebeccas.com that's R-E-B-1-B-E-C-C-A dot S dot com with a giggle so listen talk about <laughs> team and because uh, that's how they do it Rebecca's <laughs> dot com <laughs> sorry um, I love that the, talk about team we've got the real heroes they've been going to war for the past two months in the trenches battling um, yes I'm wearing a Pittsburgh Steelers shirt the hat wasn't part of the deal but I made a promise to Tom who is a huge P Pittsburgh Steelers fan um, that if he got to 30 pounds I would wear this shirt and today is the day Tom, congratulations. Today is the day. Woo! Yep. Just under six weeks. Wow. 30 pounds, uh, many, many, many inches off my body, and I feel great, and I can't wait till the next 30 pounds come off. Nice, but I'm, I'm just curious because you're looking at me like a smug cat right now. Are you, like, really loving the fact that I am wearing this Steelers outfit right now? Well, we always try to recruit, you know, <laughs> the, uh, you know those who don't know what – Real greatness is in football, so. Oh, oh man. Now, what, now what, but actually, what I do love is you told me something I didn't know. Pittsburgh yeah. is what? I'm, I'm actually uh, from Pittsburgh, and uh, Pittsburgh is the city of champions. Wow. Is actually the name, yeah. Nice, nice. And the small town I'm from is actually the home of champions, Denora, PA. Wow, there you go. So that's, yeah. So there you are. You are representing. You're, so you're a full breed. Yeah, <laughs> full breed champion, that, yeah. <laughs> and and you and you're inspiring people because you are being that full breed champion, and oh, well, and thank uh, you, very proud of you, man. You you're you're really taking our team to the next level. Thank you. Um, I I'm just excited. i mean, everything we've been doing. I've been really excited about it all, and I'm motivated. Awesome. Well, listen. You know, it's been a great show. I don't want to leave my other real heroes out. We got Andrew. How many pounds are you down, Andrew? I am uh, down twenty seven. Woo! Yeah. Now, Kyle, what about you, brother? Kyle, Wait, well, I got 15, but w when you get to 30, Andrew, does that mean Tom has to wear a Raiders Tom jersey? That, oh, there you go. Nice. <laughs> I, feel like that's, I feel like that's the only yeah. the only thing we can think of, right? right. Nice. All right. Yeah. Tom, yeah. 
Yeah. Well, listen, guys, I, I hate to cut you short because there's so much great stuff we talk. We'll get you in earlier. We got some great things coming on. Alex, you got something with the youth. You got your Tuesday night. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I got uh, I got a, a transformational teen training I've been doing for about 20 years, and that's coming down the pipeline in two weeks on December 5th and 6th. And it's similar to what I do you know, in all my trainings, and it's uh, a combination of uh, breaking down certain distinctions for the kids. But more importantly, what I do is I have these very powerful experiential exercises that really wakes them up at the core and uh, these these exercises are so powerful that these kids um, really shift into a state of gratitude and they start showing up different at home and a lot of times the parents are like what'd you do to my kid and I just said man I gave them a chance to, to really experience how amazing they are and that and they just they respond awesome well my kids are gonna be in it they don't know it yet but they're gonna be <laughs> in it so listen we want to thank you this was an awesome show next week we're gonna have coach Kevin Korn from Valencia 10 and 0 second time he's gonna be talking about the power of a coach with our kids you're listening to Getting Real with Rail Andrews and Alex Urbina on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. Thanks for listening. <laughs>